if they just boxed in the next one. No, that car actually looks like it's pretty nice, even though it's flipped. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't look, look like it really hurt it. it, no. Just uh, take it home, cut the roof off. <laughs> Convertible SUV. Change the hood of it. Right. Oop, now I'm in my mirror. Don't worry about phone keys now. That is pretty crazy. Camera's way more sensitive when you zoom in. Put this in a YouTube video. I don't want to ever flip my Camaro, but I would like to flip it to total it. <laughs> Let them pay for it. I wonder what happened. I don't know. It's probably that lady driving it. <laughs> I know, but like, what happened? Like, how did it flip? Oh, no. It was not like slipper or anything. It smells. I smell the oh, yeah. the flares. Well, come on, how long is this light? They're probably stopping it for this. Well, that's bull crap, dude. Or someone's directing it themselves. We got places to go. <laughs> I want to know how it happened. Because I don't see any uh, anything else. I see a fire truck over there. Ooh, look at that Camaro that just drove by. What's up, guys? It's your boy Josh of JTM Racing. What's going on? So today I was kind of bored. Got the day off from work. So I thought I'd do a couple little things to the Civic. Uh, nothing too crazy, just trying to clean her up a bit. But uh, I did get a nice OEM clock. She's chilling there, plugged in right now. I gotta unplug her so I can actually uh, screw her into the bezel itself. But I wanna clean the dash up a little bit, clean this bezel, get it all back together ever since we did the LED lights in the cluster. Um, probably put some type of uh, protection topical coat on the dash itself. It's been drying out. Um, I haven't really been using the sunshade, so I need to start using that again. Dash is not cracking, but there's like little tiny spots where I can see it starting and I don't want it to actually start to look like garbage so to protect the dash I'm going to be using something called protect it uh, the company I work for actually sells it and uh, it's supposed to be like armor wall in a way but it's a lot better you can use it for you know automotive marine um, anything really it's just a protection coat and it's way better than armor wall because armor wall they have actually figured out actually causes cracking and drying out this you can use on your tires you can use on anything rubber just anything and it's always worked real well for me it actually brings back the color and black plastic and stuff like that as well but uh yeah so we're just going to do a few little things um there's some wiring that i have to solder and clean up and rehang that ecu back up in the corner just stuff like that uh, i don't know how far we'll get today because it is later in the day but just thought i would start cleaning up the dash at least I gotta pull this bezel out of the back because this thing's gonna have to be fully wiped down. And I gotta put the clock in there. So I need to replace the IAC valve in this thing. It's starting to really act up. Uh, I need to just go on Rock Auto and spend 40 bucks and pick one up, man, and replace it so it runs a lot better. So my idle ain't jumping around and idle ain't surging. But yeah, I need to clean this bezel up. Dirty as can be. Um, need to get that clock unplugged, probably wipe it down. And once I get it plugged in, I'll set the time and stuff. Let me pull all these guys up. I just got stuff chilling in here, man. Axe even in there. Um, I need to mount that little extinguisher sometime, but I'm just not sure where I want it. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Probably going to wipe this thing down first, get the clock mounted in it, and then we'll go from there. 
All right, so we got the bezel clean and the clock mount it. Looks actually really clean. Um, I bought this one off eBay. I think I paid $24.99. Uh, I kind of went for the more expensive one, just hoping, you know, maybe it was in better shape. It's really clean. But uh, if you do go to the junkyard looking for one, they're going to be kind of hard to come by. And then if you do find them, this little flap might not be there. The little tabs tend to snap on them. But that's why I went online, found one that uh, that little flap was there. And, you know, it was a little bit pricier. They show it working in the photo. So, uh, yeah. So that's that bezel all cleaned up. And uh, now we got to clean the dash side before I slip it in. So what I've been kind of doing, I know I haven't been showing you guys, but just kind of try to get it done. Taking this brush here, this little detailing brush, because I have to go get a bag for my wet dry vac. I don't like ruining the filter on it, so, and it doesn't have a bag in it. <clears throat> but all this like dust and stuff, I've been just brushing off. So what I'll do is I'll kind of do it to the whole dash with the brush and then I'll go over it and wipe it. And then I'm going to use uh, this interior cleaner right here. I have their instant detailer um, or I mean quick detailer. I have their spray wax. I have their wax. Very good brand right here. Um, I tend to like it a little bit better than Meguiar's. So, and that's who I've always used back in the day is Meguiar's. Kind of like this stuff. So, I'll be using that on the dash after I brush it all off. And I'll be spraying it down with Protect It to uh, get that nice little coat of protection. It's going to be a little glossy. I'm not too big on a shiny dash. But what's cool about the Protect It, it's not as glossy as Arm Raw. It actually dries up a little bit. And then it kind of turns into like a satin. So you can tell it's moisturized, but it's not as like shiny as where if you touch it, you're going to get it on your fingertips. Not as oily, I guess. It actually might be a water base, to be honest with you. But so, yeah, then we'll do that. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, guys. So the dash looks a little bit better. Um, did a real quick clean. Got in some, you know, little tight spots and stuff. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that cluster bezel back in and uh, hook up the hazard switch and the clock and then I'll continue wiping it down even better. I just went over it real quick and uh, just kind of got in the creases but I want to get this bezel in. Kind of pissed. See, there's no cracks really in the dash of the Civic at all but I just broke that right now. Right there where the defrosters are, that little, little tab or whatever. Not a tab but the vent snap that off just by uh going over it with a microfiber kind of pissed about that <laughs> but oh well so get that bezel in all right so got it all back together actually looking really clean wiped it down with the protect it if you can tell a lot more gloss and all the darker colors are a lot deeper, like the black bezel. Now, I probably could get in the air vents a little bit better. I live in Arizona, so you know there's a lot of dust. I need to get up in there with something. Probably put some protected on a Q-tip and try to clean all those out. But yeah, dash is looking clean. Gotta fix this guy. If not, replace the gauge. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Um, and then the boost gauge, I uh, hooked it up to only off and on power, which it needs to be hooked up to constant power as well. So every time I restart the Civic, this goes back to the first color it's supposed to be at, which is green or what they have it set at. And then I have to change it to white every time or whatever color I want. Um, if I ran the constant and the off and on power, every time I started the car, it would remember and it would stay on the color I set it at. So I want to fix that as well. Um, yeah, clock's in. It's now 136, though, so I'll be uh, setting that. Um, what time is it, actually? I don't know what time it is. All right.
tried, so phone just cut out on me. But let's see if we can figure out how to set this thing. So we reset it. It's 5.05. Huh. That's simple. So it should be good now. We'll see. But yeah, I'm happy I got that protected on the dash and needed it big time. I'll see if that little thing cracked up there. Um, Probably have to put this on there for a while and uh, let the dash absorb it. And then I could just hit it with some uh, quick interior detailer after. But I want this thing to absorb whatever that has in it. Um, like I said, it might be a water base, but at the same time, I think it might be an oil base because you need oils to get in all this dry plastic to get it, you know, back to where it used to be, kind of. Um, yep, clockworks went to 506. Um, but yeah, so that's it for right now. Um, I will come back right after this clip, obviously, probably a different day, but, uh, we got to solder up some wires. So like this guy here, um, I have a guy over here, I got a solder. So I'll be soldering those and taking electrical tape, taping them together, cleaning up this whole harness, taping it all together and then rehanging the ECU back over here after I wipe it down. And then uh, clean up some of this wiring up here, you know, tuck it. Um, same thing with the VTEC wiring as well. I had to rip into that because at one time, my uh, VTEC oil pressure sensor wasn't realizing what the oil pressure was at. So um, well, there was a short in it, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but there was a short in it. So it wasn't reading and VTEC wasn't engaging. I was throwing a check engine light, I couldn't figure it out. But there's something in this harness when uh, built by Notorious wired it up. It had a short. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it would kick off. Um, short. So, but yeah, we'll come back a different time, do that. Really need to pull these front fenders off so I can get the M3 mirrors on. Get those all wired in. We'll be splicing those right into the turn signals up here or, you know, further back on the harness but yeah I'm um, just trying to get her clean so like I said I need to vacuum this whole thing probably pull off these front door panels because they're garbage this one's not that bad but it's cracking that one's really bad over there I want to pull those off because they don't do anything but make a mess in the car at least vacuum it out and uh, probably get the rear seat pop back in just temporarily obviously because I'm gonna have to switch out this carpet but I want to order a carpet kit um, I'll go red probably red carpet kit Take all these panels off wipe them all down make them looking fresh do the same thing used to protect it on them um, For this car since the plastics are pretty old. I should even do it in the Jimmy I'm gonna actually start wiping it down with the protect. I'll probably use like What would I say like a combination of the two the the quick interior detailer and then that I mean probably even shampoo it or something with some conditioner get some moisture back into some of this stuff panels are done way past you know gone but I'll get some new door panels up the junkyard and uh, need to wash this thing up um, four new regulators windows tint it just little things you know um, probably actually get the tune there's a couple other little things I want to do to it real quick before I do the tune uh, get four speakers back in instead of just having the two front ones get the headliner redone I actually get some new front seats back seats in pretty legit condition um, the bottom half is actually all carpet clean and then I never put it back in so and then we'll start working on the outside I'm really concentrating on the performance of it and the interior right now paint don't give two fucks um, I found some wide body fenders I'll probably be going with they're like 220 bucks I really want to order those so we'll see when I can get my hands on those sick as shit use them with the stock OEM front bumper um, I'll be getting a fiberglass hood as well. I actually might do something that has inlets to actually let some air under here. And then we'll also be putting on, uh, what were they? I think they were VMS hood spacers. 
I could be wrong. It could be VMS. It could be Password JDM. It's just some, you know, brand off of eBay. Um, shit, it might be Blackworks. I wouldn't be surprised because I like Blackworks, which Blackworks is totally legit. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pull this thing over back into the rocks. That's where we're going to leave off at right now. And uh, we'll do some other stuff on this video. TJ's painting his car at the shop. Night and day difference. Throwing a clear coat on. I didn't get to see the whole process, but at least we're getting to see the last couple stages. They did a uh, four coats of paint, doing three coats of clear, and then after about a couple weeks of the curing, he's gonna cut it real hard, polish it, throw a couple coats of wax on it. Digging the color though. Good old Harbor Freight gun and a good old Harbor Freight compressor. Far was black. Did as much body work as he could do. Do some bondo in some areas. It's not coming out too bad actually. Not used to holding a hose that big, huh? Uh, you know, the real slam for me is just, you know, uh. <laughs> I'm just stating facts, man. That's it. That's why I drive a little car. Used to little things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. I dig it. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. black grill and then where the license plate bezel is he did that black as well um, he did the side skirts black so it kind of has I don't know kind of has what would I say a little theme going on with it 
I dig it though. Color's sick. Um, it's on SI wheels, but uh, after he gets this thing all cleaned up, he needs to lower this thing for sure. Couple coats of clear. Looks way better. Like all the way from here with those bags on it and the camera looks like it has big old slicks all the way around. <laughs> I swear to God, man. All wheel drive, huh? <laughs> TJ's probably over here getting high as shit. Come on, fumes. Always remember to wear a respirator. This ain't the correct way of doing it. Yeah, dude, it does look really good though. Yeah. Think about what it looked like before. <laughs> you know? Huh? I'm like what it looked like before. Right. Nothing like this. Yeah. Black or clear with chipping. All faded as shit. 13 hours of fucking sanding. <laughs> All done. That was the last coat, Larry. So the next time we see this thing, be driving around. Oh, TJ wants to expose the SI wheels. Ah, uh, dude, such a difference once the bag. Like the bags are off the wheels. Hey, we got a lot more to come. Just tell this bitch to record it. Nah. Uh. Yeah, put that shit on YouTube. Oh no, Adam. Adam, Adam, what's your name? I have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Yeah, I get paid by them. Huh. Call me a bitch on my own channel. <laughs> I'm gonna go there, fuck you up, TJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have to for the fucking use your camera more oh yeah? Oh yeah? Be careful. Yeah, I was gonna say Take your time. How happy are you, TJ? Real happy. Dude, it looks gray from here. Like you if you come back. This is the thing, when it's they not in the light, light, when it's not in the light, it looks gray. It kind of, yeah. It looks gunmetal. 
Just about, yeah. yeah, it has a blue tint, but as soon as it gets in the light, that's where you really notice the blue. Yeah, so if about. at night, dude, if you're mobbing it, people are going to think it's gray. Oh, and then yeah. as soon as you get in sunlight, yeah. it really looks fucking gray. I figured you'd love this. Did you paint it again already, Larry? Holy shit, man. Do what? <laughs> I said, did you paint it again already? <laughs> He's painting it with his eyes. <laughs> yeah, it must be all those paint fumes getting to us. <laughs> oh, I love this shit too. Dude, putting like carpet in a boat, that glue. Woo! I remember my dad coming out of my Uncle Polly's boat, dude, and he was like stoned. <laughs> Look at the glue, dude, for carpet. Dude, that shit, you think paint strong. Carpet glue? Oh, damn. No, it looks good, dude. I'm like, want to paint my car. Really bad now. But you're right. It looks like a gray. In here, it looks gray. Yeah. It's that. It's that. But it's that pearl essence. It's that pearl essence. That's exactly what that is. Does this really have? Does this really have? Well, actually, it'd be the opposite. What? You said party at night. It'd be gray at night. It'd be blue during the day. Right. So party during the day. Boring at night. Okay. <laughs> no, I think it's cool as shit, man. Yeah, because see, as soon as you open that, that's where that blue starts to come in. Yeah. That's sick. That's real. Dude, you know, it has like a purple, like like a purple blue. Like a what? Pur like a purple blue. Yes. Like, like right purple. here, it looks kind of like it has a, like a light purple yeah, tint, yeah. blue kind of. It only depends on how the light's hitting it. Yeah. That's pearlescence for you. It, it's almost like a pearl. Yeah. Is that what it was, a pearl? No. Metallic. No, it's just Oh, metallic. it's metallic. Okay. I dig it. I really like it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, it's a whole different oh, car. No shit. Uh... Very cool. All right, everybody. So it's been a while since I uh, posted anything on YouTube. We're actually going to be adding these clips to a few older clips of me working on the Civic Dash and putting the clock in it. So doing a couple more things. I'm going to be pulling off the front door panels or door cards, whatever you want to call them. They're dry rotted. So if you look at this panel over here, they're pretty damn bad. We do live in Arizona here, so shit just gets destroyed by the sun but the driver's side really bad pulled that one out already passenger side needs to come out still it's not even close as bad but it's gonna get there so might as well pull it out um pretty simple usually there would be like some type of clip or screw right here there's a screw inside your door handle screw inside this pocket and then you got a clip on your window crank you can either get that out with a pair of pliers or a flathead screwdriver. I'm using this little guy right here. So it's like a pick. And the rest is just door clips. They just pop out. So we'll take this guy off. Um, a lot of future plans for the interior. Dash is looking pretty uh, cherry right now. Have a couple other things we gotta do to it. Um, I gotta clean up the wiring for the ECU so we can rehang that. Just some soldering that needs to be done. Really, the car needs to be cleaned. Um, need to do new carpet. Front seats will get replaced. Not too sure if they'll be like OEM Honda seats or if we'll get some aftermarket seats. Back seat's actually in really good shape. Um, top half is already installed in the car. Still have the bottom half in the garage. Do got to pull that out so I can install that as well. That's all freshly cleaned, so I'm able to just bolt that right in. Um, just need to clean the interior for now. But like I said, new carpet, probably going to go red on that. Probably going to rewrap this deck lid and red suede. Probably do the headliner red suede. And then these little uh, sections or bezels for the door panels, I'll be pulling these out, rewrapping them in like a red suede. Front seats will probably be gray. Um, 
kind of doing this red and gray theme. So whatever I do with the front seats, I'll probably get the rear seats wrapped to match. So either I'll get, you know, front seats out of another Honda, get them all wrapped the same thing. Or if I buy some aftermarket new seats, I'll just get these back ones to match. So we'll see what I do about that. They probably won't be a cloth like this. Probably be some type of other fabric, either a leather or some type of suede, something. Probably suede. Uh, leather just gets too hot and nasty, mostly out in Arizona, so. But we are getting there. Like I said, we already pulled this door panel out on the driver's side or off. Um, pulling all this plastic off because it's all cracking, you know, to keep uh, water from inside the car or coming inside the car. So that will also have to be replaced at some time when I get new door panels. Pretty much need to do a junkyard run, get four new door panels, see what I can find for seats there. Um, need new door handles because these are all cracked. Just a lot of this stuff is dry rotted. It's just Arizona for you. I don't have it really covered or garage, so I do need to buy a car cover for it, even though the paint job is garbage right now. I will be painting it in the future, not too sure what color. And pondering on like forest green so but we got to make some progress so i'm going to be pulling this passenger door panel off now all right so i got both door panels off throw them away in the trash where they belong there's a few pieces i kept just in case so at the top of the door panels there's like this felt strip it's almost like weather stripping i believe for the windshield um they were in good shape so i'm keeping those there is these lock bezels. They were in good shape, I'm keeping those as well. Um, the reason why is just in case the door panels I get from the junkyard don't have them, I have them here. Or if I get door panels from the junkyard and one of these pieces decides to go bad or breaks, I have replacements. So it's always good to keep stuff like this. If it's in good shape, why toss it out? There's no point. So kept those. There's a few things we will have to do before we put on new door panels. So the plastic I was talking about that goes underneath the door panel is to keep moisture from not ruining the door panel or anything inside the car, mainly the door panel. So uh, we'll have to redo all this. Um, I'll probably scrape a lot of this old glue. It's almost like caulking and then redo it all and throw a whole new sheet of plastic. Probably go with a really thick mill and it should last, you know, another 20 years. Hopefully, something like that. I'm gonna have to replace all four regulators and all the doors and the two in the front work. The ones in the back are totally shot. But you can tell the front ones are pretty rough. So you can buy them in pairs. I'll buy a pair for the front. I'll buy a pair for the back. Redo them all, get the windows tinted, just so the interior of the car is not getting destroyed by the sun so much. I'll be replacing the front speakers here. I mean, I can do that after the door panels are on, but I'm probably gonna do it while they're off. When I rewrap this big old board, I'll be putting speakers in here as well. This is a DX, so it didn't come with them factory. They are pre-wired, they're just not connected to anything. Now this is wired up for an amp and sub. I'm not gonna go crazy or anything big. I'll probably go just tube style, almost like a bazooka. But now they have better brands out there like MTX, Kicker, stuff like that, that makes them. So I'll probably go with something like that so it's not too heavy, it's light, has some decent sound, but I don't, I don't need to go crazy, the Jimmy's gonna bump. So, carpet will need to be replaced, front seats, like I said, the ECU needs to be soldered, rehung. Um, headliner needs to be redone. Maybe I'll do that real soon. Pull the headliner out, pull this out, get some rear speakers for it, rewrap all this. You know, do the front speakers as well. Um, I might honestly save up for a carpet kit because that's like the base, that's like the bottom of it, you know? So, might save up for a carpet kit next. Um, get some nice set of floor mats, you know, cover the pedals, with some new rubber. Um, you can get these at AutoZone or just go to Honda. 
they do have them at AutoZone, surprisingly. You know, rehang this uh, master relay, clean up a few things, pretty much just uh, tying up some loose ends. Um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but I really want the interior to look fresh before the outside does. Get some new tail lights, garbage, eBay. You get some real 50 50s, even just DX tail lights, I'm good with. Probably just 10 them or something. But yeah, so next will be carpet. It's like a couple hundred bucks. I'm going red on that. And then, uh, then I'll get some front seats for it. I'll get all the interior done fresh. And then the last thing I'll do is be rewrapping that rear seat to match the front seats. But when I want to get the door panels in there. I want those looking good. All new door handles, all new window cranks. Just, I want the interior looking fresh, like just clean as hell. Um, it would be cool to put some type of roll bar setup. I'm not tripping on it though. Um, I really want this to be a medium power car. So, you know, maybe 300 horse, maybe four, which is nutty for a Civic. But either than that, I just wanted a clean car, you know, sits clean, rides clean, clean ass interior, has little options that it didn't have, uh, decent stereo, decent paint job. A nice little daily you know like something i can just take to work cruise it not worried about it it is boosted it'll have the power when it needs it but you know not gonna go too overboard with it 300 400 horse in this thing is enough we'll be raping some cars honestly so but yeah next i'm gonna vacuum it so i'm gonna get a uh, started on that because this carpet's disgusting just get it all cleaned up vacuum the seats you know just do little things like that right now so let's do it all right, so I just got done doing a vac job on a Civic. It looks a little bit better. Carpet's still shot. Stained horribly. Just falling apart. Fabric's falling off of it. But I had to clean up the debris from the door panels and the seats. The foam. Just everything's falling apart. It's just dry rotted from Arizona. So it's the one thing in Arizona. You want to keep your car covered or in a garage. The heat just dries it out. And it just sun rots it you know it just sits there and it bakes so even the dash when i uh put the clock in and wiped it all down and stuff even the dash the defroster vent one of the little uh what would i say like uh fins on the vent actually snapped off pissed me off but it is what it is i've been uh neglecting it so but yeah so i gotta rehang that ecu clean up that wiring any of this wiring under the dash. Um, fix uh, this gauge and this gauge. This gauge flickers. I'm not too sure if it's a problem with the wiring or it's the gauge. This one needs to be rewired. So every time I start the car, the color it's set on is saved. Instead of having to switch it to uh, white every time. It's pretty stupid because I think the first color should be white. But whenever you start the car, it's green. So I got to wire that up different. I wired that up just to an off and on power. It needs to be a constant and an off and on power. So, but uh, yeah, I put the window crank handles back on temporarily just so the windows can go up and down. Next time I wash the car, I'll wipe down the inside of the doors and the door jams, kind of just clean that stuff up. Like I said, I've been neglecting the car. So there is a lot of stuff to do. Um, I'm going to put my window shade up. I've been doing that just to keep this dash protected a little bit better. And, uh, yeah. And far as doing the headliner, this is the reason why. If you see all these little tears. Looks like garbage. It's not horrible. I've seen worse, but need to do it. So, But that's what I have done for today. Next thing is probably hanging the ECU back up, cleaning up this wiring. Hanging up that uh, master relay back up. Um... Just the little things. Probably get some new pads for the pedals, like I was saying. Get those actually at AutoZone or whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure you can order them off eBay too. I might just do it to do it. Um, one thing at a time and she'll come together. And that's just what it is. Camaro's been running great. No check engine light. Um, been driving it like that for probably about a month now. Solid. Um, so yeah. Where I deleted the secondary cats. They did have leaks up top. You fix those. It's good now. Um, so if you guys ever have that issue, that can be the problem. But yeah, 
So for now, um, I'm going to end this shit. So peace. We might come back on another clip. This might be the end of the video. Later.